Yes, hi everybody and welcome to yet another video. And I am very much excited, my dear friends, to present to you yet another action figure from the Mythic Legions line by the Four Horsemen toy design. And today we are going to focus on a long anticipated, long expected figure of Arizak the Dark Wizard from the Poxus Wave, which is the latest wave of the Mythic Legion's fantasy action figures, mostly focused on uh, magical characters, characters that uh, have magical abilities, and uh, among them we've got um, Arizak the Dark Wizard, Samir the uh, Wizard of the Good, we've got Thrace Wraith Hailer, uh, we've got uh, Tharnog, and we've got Kalizir the Orc Shaman, and the Genie, and of course Foxes himself, which is one of the four horsemen, one of the dark characters, one of the demigods of uh, the, or dark demigods of the mythos, the uh, legendarium of those action figurines. And we are gradually going to get through all these figures, but I have been especially looking forward to get Arizak because he reminds me very much of um, uh, <laughs> the dark wizard from the wizards film by Ralph Bakshi, one of my most favorite fantasy films, definitely the most precious uh, animated film of mine, and uh, I can only see the possibilities uh, if I, you know, get enough of them. I usually get two of each, one to open, one to keep in box, but as far as these, I will get like three or four, because I will need to customize them, I will want to pop and swap the parts, and I will want to paint them. I said in my previous video that those Mythic Legion's action figurines are designed so they can be uh, taken apart quite easily, and uh, the individual parts of those individual figures could be then popped and swapped to make your own special, very much unique action figures. And so shall we dive in? Now, there has been uh, uh, an issue with uh, this line, apparently, which, you know, I, I'm not in my case so far, but some of these figures uh, have been known to be a, a fragile, a lot fragile. And so um, it is recommended with each and every single action figure, especially when they arrive in winter or in winter time, to heat them up a little bit, to use uh, either hot water or a uh, hairdryer so that uh, the joints can be easily moved and so we avoid any breakage. Um, what I notice from the get-go uh, with this new line, with this new wave, is that they switched from those uh, accessory baggies, this is one of the baggies of uh, the latest figure that I opened, Juban, which most of these accessories came with this bag uh, that was included behind uh, the uh, figure, they swap to another layer of the tray. And it, the, the presentation, as far as the protection of the uh, accessories, is much better this way. So these are all, well, most of the accessories that Ariza comes with. He comes with uh, three pairs of swappable hands. He comes with uh, these magic effects, which very much resemble a red version of the uh, Force um, Lightning, as, as it was used by Imperial Palpatine. And it also comes with with this uh, beautiful uh, pauldron style thing that will be attached to Arizak's back. And then some uh, miscellaneous bits and pieces like little piles and uh, little bottles with potions and things like that. All of these will make beautiful, beautiful displays. And now uh, we shall focus on uh, the man in question. Uh, it's only Kajil fell to the ground, never mind. Um, this is Ali's game, so look at that. The Four Horsemen toy design are getting better and better at the cloth goods and soft goods materials. Um, as I proved in my latest video about Juban, the Ranger, I will show you when I open this one as well. They are all uh, wired, so the, 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 the cloak here, the cape and the hood, they can be uh, posed and moved all the way you like. And of course he comes with this alternate hand, oh sorry, head, this screaming action like uh, anger filled head and this humongous wizard stuff. So let us uh, open Arizak, let us uh, heat him up, uh, get him moving and then I will 
continue with the review. So I'll see you in a second. Well then, we've got Arizak out of the package, and let me tell you, the hardest part was this guard pauldron thing. Man, you saw that there were two pigs uh, on the backside of this pauldron thing, and then there are, of course, two holes at uh, Arizak's back, as it is the case with all the Mythic Legions figures. <laughs> Putting it in there took me like 10 minutes of just like constant, very, very stressed pushing. And uh, let me tell you, I did a very, very, very naughty thing. I didn't heat it up. I couldn't wait. And all the Mythic Legion's uh, representatives, everybody was saying, heat those figures up, heat them up. And there were a lot of cases of people breaking their uh, Poxus figures. Uh, and sharing it on uh, social media. I haven't had a single problem with moving this guy around. Look at him. Look at him. Look at that mofo. Look at that badass mofo. The one thing that I did was I removed the cape. I always wanted to have uh, him without the cape. I like the, you know, the, the bold guy uh, with his enraged face. So it's got all the uh, standard articulation of the Mythic Legions figures. I'm not going to show you the articulation into detail here. I mean, there are thousands of better videos about action figures than mine. I'm just here to share my thoughts. And uh, I have to say that uh, Arizak is one of the greatest action figures from the Mythic Legions line that I have ever had the pleasure to hold in my hands. The one thing that I would maybe have theoretically a gripe with is the staff is humongous. <laughs> but on the other hand, you, you know what? No, it's not a gripe. This is uh, quite clearly a very much deliberate hyperbole. And the more I look at him, the more I look at the staff, the more I want to display him with the staff. I originally didn't want to display him with the staff because I thought it was too big. That, But the more I look at it, the more I love it. Gee, look at that. I will post, I will do some pictures, as I did in my last video. I'll make some pictures of Arizak. I will post them at the end of the video so you can all enjoy it. But of course, you know, then um, if you so wish. And of course, as it is with all the uh, Mythic Legions, he stands by himself beautifully. Even though this is the so-called 2.0 type of uh, body of these action figurines. More slender figures, more... Um, fragile ones, he stands on his own quite all right. And if not, you can just use the staff to support him. Let us try to stir him up. He stood just a second ago. Well, uh, I will I will play with him later. Now, now he doesn't want to stand. All right, then. Let us move around his... All right, then. Now he stands. Fine. So let us show you the uh some of the hands that and now he fell cheeks <laughs> quite uh right so his left hand so we will sw switch his hand and then i will take the pictures and end the video here with finishing thoughts of arizak the evil wizard uh being one of the greatest mythic legions action figures that i have had the pleasure to deal with you can display him with a hood or without it uh this is the hardest part to put on and then of course you can display him with this enraged face or this uh more calm serious face and so and of course you can choose from billion gizillion gizillion accessories and you can put all these little things on his back on his belt so let us uh, swap this one hand, which is the last thing I will do on this video. Uh, let us swap this hand. Oh, I won't break anything. No, she's just popped up quite easily. And uh, let us put the um, let us put some of the gesture hands in once again, quite easily. And. Uh, can display him like so, like he is uh, making a spell. Look at that. All right, then. I'll go to do some pictures and I'll post them. So let me know in the comments down below if you are into Mythic Legions or not. Uh, some of my longer, older subscribers and those of you who 
are my friends of the cabal. Well, you know what we always say, cabal above all. And that will be all. Thank you very much for watching. And I'm out of here.